base crown taco meat is this much. That's new. Never seen it. Then they have the plant, and it's $7.49, guys. One pound. And one pound of the plant based meat eat. Classic salt and pepper. $7.49. They're going to have more, way more of these products on the shelves. Y'all wait and see. Hey, fam. Real quick. Weekly walkthrough, but real. A real quick video some things that are soon to become either unaffordable or non-existent or just plain out like uh you don't want to buy it it's produce produce is becoming very expensive and it doesn't last as long once you bring it home six dollars for a bag of apples, three pounds, three pounds. But yeah, it does not last as long. It makes you just want to leave it. You know, you want to eat healthy, but it's in certain places that you have to go. And I guess Walmart is one of the places where you really don't want to pick up too much produce. Cause I know this mainly with Walmart. Um, yeah, once I bring that, bring it home a day or two later, that's it. Like, look. There we are. Bread is another thing that's going up in price, y'all. So, dollar seventy-eight. This used to be a dollar. Um, this used to be eighty something cents, ninety something cents. It's a dollar thirty-two today, and they actually took a shelf down. So this is what they do have available. The bread is going up. If you want to go ahead and make your own, learn how to make your own, you don't know how to make your own, start practicing, being that it is winter time, and the time is now, you're going to have to learn how to get deep down and dirty with your hands and make your own. Trust me, all of this is a learning process for some people. Um, even for myself, I don't know how to do everything. You know, I'm not comfortable with cooking everything neither, but I will learn. You know, I will look up a recipe real quick and I'll go ahead and do it. And if it's something that I like, I'll go ahead and keep trying till I get it right. You know, tweak the ingredients. Make sure you stock up more ingredients first. Get your basic ingredients in your stockpile, such as your flour, you know, such as your sugar, such as your yeast, such as your baking soda, baking powder, things like that. Get your ingredients in your stockpile that you're gonna need to be baking. Of course, spices, salt, pepper, garlic powder, um, onion powder. You know, definitely get the spices stocked up on. Keep those spices stacked. I'm telling you, a different spice will change your meal. It can be the same meal, but a different spice. I'm telling you guys oatmeal hot cereal in general these things only require hot water why not consider getting some oatmeal or hot cereal in your stockpile so yes things like flour you know that you're gonna need sugar items to bake with you know make your own bread with maybe a possible cake or something um you definitely want to go ahead and start consider getting now and when I say now, I mean now because this stuff is disappearing fast. Like I said, if I'm showing you these, if I'm showing you guys these videos and you guys are seeing the thinning in the shelves in my parts of New Jersey, guys, it's just a heads up. So baking soda, I discussed this last time. It's no longer 60 cents here for the one pound. It's like 70 something cents here. And this also went up. They just haven't um, changed the tags as of yet. Bread flour, all purpose flour. Definitely your choice. As you guys can see in this particular Walmart, the flour have thinned out completely. So bake, let me see if they even have yeast today. Baking soda, baking powder. The great value baking powder went up. You guys are gonna see these things increase in price. Um, they do have the yeast. This is the, how many packs is in here? Three? Yep, three packs for $1.60. They have the active dry and the rapid rise. And then they have the 77 cents ones, great value. And I don't see the, oh, the small draw right here, 5.18 for four ounces.
non-stick spray cooking oil you all of that stuff something else you should consider crisco shortening whatever it is that you prefer with the crisco and shortening or use definitely you should have in your stockpile so canned meat is another thing that is also becoming steadily unavailable so canned meat if you are you know wanting to get your protein and you can get protein in many other ways but it's going to be hard for you to actually you know look at your health as time go on and things disappear because unless you're growing your own and you can keep up with it um as far as for meat options and you have not stocked up on canned meat i'm not sure this is something new though but this is the canned meat is low regardless you guys can see the canned meat is low from the canned chicken Vienna sausages, corned beef hash, um, plant-based ground taco meat. It's this much. That's new. Never seen it. Then they have the plant, and it's $7.49, guys. One pound. And one pound of the plant-based meat eat. Classic salt and pepper. $7.49. They're going to have more. Way more of these products on the shelves. Y'all wait and see. And, of course, coffee have it in your stock pal you know just in case i want a cup and i'm right now i can ask you guys in union no i can smell it all out here already i was gonna i don't know it smell like old meat or something something rotten i don't like the smell over here maybe the eggs are bad so these um i'm walking over here like what is that smell so the 60 count eggs is um they went up to $22.03 here too. Over in Linden, it's $22 and change as well for the five dozen there. Also, I don't know, something just smells weird. $13.96 for the 18 count. Of course, toilet paper is something else that you should be stocked up on. We've all learned from the last pandemic shut down lockdown <laughs> toilet paper caused major issues and fights <laughs> and it was ridiculous so toilet paper put it on your checklist pet food starting to see a major shortage with pet food again so please do not forget about your pets whether you have a dog cat turtle fish doesn't matter don't forget about your pets um just to let you guys know all Christmas items are now, all Christmas items are now 50% off at Walmart. So they do have these little pet beds, 50% off taken off at the register. Um, because of the Christmas clearance. Vacuum sealers, vacuum bags. They have a food saver here for $159, y'all. And they made sure they put the little alarm thing up here. Let me see. They have one for $89. They put the alarm up there. They are not playing. Vacuum sellers with the vacuum um, bags, definitely. Now, when it comes down to infant clothing, you can just about almost forget about it newborn clothing you can just about almost forget about it at most well certain walmarts at this point um definitely they just don't have it they have these what is these t-shirts aren't we in winter so medications we've talked about medications medications your vitamins all of it let's just walk over here real quick just to see what certain this is the adult the adult uh cold medicines and as i'm walking up you guys can already see like yeah shelves are thinning shelves are thinning this is just like the laxatives and stuff like that um and if we walk back this way i want to see the tylenol so this is allergy relief medication over here um so icy hot all right Tylenol yes 
so the Tylenol is low. Like I said, I still go with the um, the off brand, the Equate. I don't mind that. Advil, definitely low. The children's medicine is really low as well, just like the same the adult medica medications as well. Vitamins, you want to make sure you have in your stockpile. Um, <clears throat> where's my cart? Okay. Um, vitamins, most definitely. Get those in your stockpile as well. There's also different options when it comes down to using pads. Like I say even with this, I, I still go with the off-brand. They have tampons. Um, they have the menstrual cups if you're comfortable using that. You just empty it out, but it still requires water to clean. So, in an SHTF kind of situation, reusable pads and like things like the menstrual cups, it will take you know a decent amount of water to clean so i don't know if that's a great option you guys let me know how you guys feel about that me i will prefer something disposable that i can just throw away of course dental hygiene products as well deodorants hygiene products overall definitely have it available and don't forget about that 50 percent off like i said for all christmas supplies so if you want to get your Christmas decor for next year, now is the time. 50. Oh, these are cute. Are these 50 percent off too? No exclusions. That's what it says, right? Those are cute. I like those. 